Hey, what is up you guys? Uh, another DV test and or video for you. Hope you don't get tired of these. So I've been meaning to record this video for a while and I figured what better time than while I'm driving. This will be great, right? So these are my top five phone con vendors that I am excited to see. I'm sure everyone has a slightly different list based on who they know, what products they're excited for, but these are my top five that I wanted to share with you. So coming in at number five on my list is FDL. Uh, not a whole lot has changed since Endware last year. They released the FDL 2X and 2V. It's not a whole new blaster. They're not showing off anything completely new as you heard from the podcast that they were on, but it's still a fantastic blaster and I can't wait to play with it a little bit at, at PhoneCon. If you haven't had a chance, go pick one up, go take a couple shots with it. It's, it's a really incredible platform that everyone should at least try which is why it's uh, number five on my list. At number four, I have Aeromech. So the world of homemade blasters is slowly, I don't wanna say dying, but it's slowly like slipping into the shadows. There's like three big homemade events every year. And there's a few wars around every once in a while where homemades are allowed, where the FPS cap is high enough that homemades are allowed. But if you're new to the community, uh, if you haven't played with a homemade, haven't tried one yet, absolutely go to Aeromex table, go learn about these things, go learn about some nerf history, um, try out some of the best springers known to the hobby. Uh, Aeromech makes some really quality products, I'm sure he'll have plenty to show off at his table. Uh, go check out his YouTube channel if you have any plans to build anything like this. Um, he has amazing tutorials and I can't wait to see him at PhoneCon. Number three on my list is Captain Slug, who is also like a part of Nerf history in a lot of ways. He's designed some amazing things, but most recently and most notably, I think, is the Calibern. The Calibern has been one of the hottest topics in the Nerf community recently. Slug has made 500 some of them by himself in the, I don't even know, it hasn't been that long since they started coming out. But he's made like 500 of them. You see them at almost every war that has a high enough FPS cap for them. They're everywhere. Uh, so go to his um, so go to his booth. Give him a thank you in person for all the work he's done. Uh, and pick up a caliber and play with it. I, I've said this for the last three booths in a row, but pick up one of their products and play with it. That's probably one of the best things about PhoneCon is that you're not just looking at products on a screen on your computer or uh, even review videos don't do a lot of these products justice. It's really picking them up and getting to use them for yourself that, that gets you to really know these products and really feel what it's like and why everyone is raving about them. Coming in at number two is Containment Crew. Containment Crew has some really cool Endor exclusives coming out. Uh, depending on when this video goes up, you may or may not already know about them from another one of my videos. Uh, so if this video comes out first, look out for that video. If this video comes out second, uh, you've already seen it, so you should know to go and get it. Last year they had their Endor exclusive wheels. Uh, they were the same Cyclone wheels, but with an Endor exclusive print on them, which is really cool. Um, super exclusive. They only made, I want to say, 50 of them. Uh, this year, they're going, they're doing something else. Super exclusive to End War 2018. They're giving away a bunch of stuff. I want to say like keychains and stuff like that. So absolutely go check them out. Uh, they have lots of cool products. Last year, there were multiple people who walked over to their booth and just built a whole strife on the spot just from products on, at their booth, so absolutely go check them out. If any part of your blaster isn't working, if your blaster is shooting too high, too low for Edgar, Containment Crew is the place to stop by and pick up the parts you need in order to get yourself right on that Edgar spec. Coming in at number one on my list is Out of Darts. I'm basing this one a little bit off of what he brought last year to PhoneCon, and a little bit off of the video that he posted, but I think, I wanna say that Out of Darts is the one who had the most interesting prototypes uh, last year at his booth. He had those 3D printed XBZ reshells, 
which launched the rockets, which you could attach to any blaster. He had his hurricane that you could try shooting, which was crazy to fire anything at that high a rate of fire. Like, there are no nemesises, nemesi, nemeses. There aren't any nemesises that can compare to the rate of fire and the size of that. There's nothing that can compare to shooting a hurricane. Uh, in his video he talked about he's going to have even more prototypes to show off, uh, even more upcoming products to show off, including his Her Mini. I have been lucky enough to try one of them, uh, but he's got those that he's going to show off, so I'm really excited to see what other prototypes. Hopefully he's got his Proton Pack at PhoneCon so we can see a demo of that. So those are my top five phone con vendors that I'm excited to see personally. Of course, there are many, many more that are going to be there, including Phone Blast, the shirt I'm wearing right now. Uh, but I want to give a special shout out to three others uh, that I'm also excited to see. So those three are Devil Z Nerfworks, who is coming all the way from Germany to be at this event uh, to show off his stuff. He's got some really cool 3D printed components. He's got some amazing parts that previously you could only get by shipping them from Germany, uh, but he's gonna be there. Uh, he's got an exclusive Strife kit. Um, I wish I remembered what real gun it's supposed to look like, but he's got an exclusive uh, kit for your Strife if you wanna pick one of those up. Um, so that's really exciting. I'm also excited to see Mr. Nathan, who was not at PhoneCon last year. Uh, as you may or may not have heard from my last podcast, which featured him, link in the description, um, he was talking about how he's going to bring some of the projects he's been working on, not necessarily to sell, although I maybe, I don't know, depends on what he gets finished between now and then, but mostly to talk about his process in person with you, so that if you're trying to do integrations like he is, you can actually talk to him hold the thing that he's been building over the past couple months on his channel in your hand, see all the details that he's put into it, and talk to him, which is really exciting. So my third shout out is gonna be to Drac. Uh, Drac, of course, is the person who's funding this entire thing, PhoneCon and Endor. He's done a lot to help organize PhoneCon, uh, and of course this event. It might be possible without him, but probably not the same, of course. Uh, so definitely stop by his booth, pick up your Ed War 2018 exclusive bandana, uh, buy a shirt, a patch, whatever else he's got going on there, help support the event, uh, help support him uh, for supporting the event. So those are my top five and some bonuses, people to go see at PhoneCon. Uh, I'm really excited to see everyone there and probably spend way too much money. So thank you guys all for watching. Uh, I'll be there too. I'll have some exclusive DV test stickers to give out, so come find me. I don't have a booth, but I'll be walking around. I should be easy to find. I'll probably look more or less like this. Uh, so yeah, come find me, come say hi, and uh, I look forward to seeing everyone at PhoneCon and Edmore. See you there.